Right, this is the 8 inch indexing dividing head, um, which is made by Walter. It's a good old thing. Um, I believe Walter, according to that machine tool company, London, I believe they were on London Bridge in London, and then I think also in America or Germany they made them. So there's the indexing head with all the pegs in there you've got the peg that you can leave out let me put tripod up and I can show you so you'd leave the pin out pull the lever and you can rotate the head or you can drop the lever in then you've got your pin holes, so you can set that by locking your pins in whatever position you want. Okay, that's the release lever, you can see that. That's the release handle. The casting is all good. There's no broken lugs, no damage whatsoever anywhere on it. It's vertical or horizontal, it'll go both ways. Uh, I will say it is extremely heavy, and I mean heavy, you would not lift that on your own. Um, my brother-in-law, he tried, it's very, very heavy. With it is the huge taper chuck three jar that goes with it. That is eight inch diameter, in perfect condition. That fastens in from behind with a large thread which goes on to there. With it is the huge chuck key and a set of inside jaws and a set of outside jaws. I will say one jaw has a little mark on it there had some damage but not anywhere that it would bother its operation, I wouldn't have thought. To give you an idea of how big this thing is, this is my Myford lathe, and that is my chuck, and that is one jaw. It's nearly the size of my chuck. It's massive. Uh, <clears throat> I can lift that. I wouldn't be able to carry it far. I'm an old guy, but... I could lift that, but I'd struggle. That, not a chance. Uh, we did have this together when we unloaded it. Why did I buy it? Um, I bought it to go onto this miller machine, but I didn't realise until I got it home that it was way too big. It wants to go on something like a bridge part or, you know, a big, um, a big lathe, a big, sorry, a big milling machine. It's, uh, it's very, very heavy, but it's only eight inch. Um, I really wasn't bothered about it being a divided head, all I wanted was a, ro a rotary table. But anyway, that is it, it's in perfect condition, very clean and tidy, two sets of jaws, insides and out, all in perfect condition, nothing wrong with them at all, they're all good. Okay, that's the little YouTube video for you to look at from eBay. a video of the chuck fitted you can see it's quite a, a monster it needs to go on a, a nice big miller machine and there you go with chuck key and a spare set of outside jaws inside jaws fitted they're all numbered and stamped that's a, a Walter chuck as well so it's a, a, a good quality one, it's not a cheap uh, import or anything. So there you go, complete machine. There's the dividing fingers there, I don't know how you use them, I haven't got a clue, but uh, that's what they're there for, to set your pitch and everything. Okay.